Welcome back to the channel, Tatsters. Another boot sale, Wednesday midweek. Uh, my current favorite, especially after last week. I managed to wake up a bit earlier today, so I've got plenty of time, should be first in. The temperature update for today is five degrees. So not as bitterly cold, but still a bit chilly. So we're on week two already of things being open boot sales at back open charity shops and things so the first week I bought more than the past probably six months it was insane um yeah really really happy with how last week went couldn't have got off to a better start really so hopefully going forwards into today and future boot sales keep picking up all this quality stuff keep it consistent keep it listed keep it selling keep it moving I don't want stuff stagnant on my shelves so yeah Hopefully nice quick sellers and keep that conveyor belt going and hopefully we don't go into any more lockdowns. And just from one week, we've learned quite a lot or I've learned quite a lot. I've got the trust your gut. So some trainers or something like that, if I've got a niggling feeling they're fake, probably best to leave them. Bring a trolley, which I have remembered today because I'm more likely to pick up a bigger, heavier thing at this boot sale. That's in the boots, so that's ready. And then last video, which is really interesting, lots of comments about negotiation haggling type thing lots of different tips and things so try and tick them off if i can try not to ask the question would you take this because they're more inclined to say yes or no yeah different tips which is really cool so thanks for all the comments i just wanted to put out there i know i'm not entitled to money off or anything it's just the fact obviously putting videos out i get called out on not haggling as much i should be haggling more get trying to get more money off but at the same time i like paying a fair price so obviously I'm more inclined to get more deals and I know I'm gonna make obviously a nice bit of profit on the items. So I always find it a bit awkward if something's already dirt cheap to get money off again. Um, so it's just a balancing act for me. So trying to show that I do haggle, I'm not just a pushover, but at the same time, I don't wanna be taking the mick. So fine balance, so I appreciate all your tips. I'm gonna take some on board and see how we get on today. All right, let's get going. I'll see you in there. Hopefully we get some cool stuff and I'll see you back at the unit to show you what I got. See you in a bit. Bang on six o'clock. I'm about to go in. Will it? There you go. Thank you. Cheers. How much on your stools? Oh, it's sold, okay. It's all right. How much on the lamp? Uh, ten. Ten. <coughs> Morning, David. Morning. Morning. Good thanks. Got one thing so far, yeah. <laughs> I was like, that was a bloody golf club. Let's pour some golf. Yeah, I saw you. <laughs> <laughs> 
Getting early today, then. Yeah, I was flying in at six today. How much on the games? Got three of them there. Uh, ten for the three. Catch you in a bit, mate. Yeah. Yeah, see you, mate. There's loads more. Okay. So it's a bit of a space. Interesting. Yeah, very old. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Cool. I remember your face then. Yeah. Yeah. Got a little pole going on now. Got six and this. Yeah. So it'd be 30, 25. Yeah. Yeah, so. Cut head up. Five. Thank you. Telly. Ten. Five? Seven. Seven. Yeah, yeah got him. That's <laughs> five, I'll get the two. It's all working. That's cool, yeah. It's sitting there. It's got a remote. Yeah, I saw that as well, yeah. Thanks for that. Cheers. Alright, I'm going to get in here. Uh, okay. Did you take five for that one? Five? No. Yeah, no. Uh, Eight pounds? 
Yeah. Yeah. Take him. Yeah. <laughs> I bought a trolley and I've already run out of space. <laughs> up here. Uh, so I can squeeze him in. Thanks Thank you. Much. Cheers. Thank you. All right. Back to the car, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Back. I'll hold him. Thanks for that. Bye. Cheers. Bye. Mayday, mayday. We've lost the cover. We've lost the cover. get big stuff it's gonna be at this one mm. cardboard gold all right empty trolley reloaded let's put it up again How much is this one? Uh, ten pound. Ten pound? Well, we'll take ten pound for your thing. mystery. <laughs> mystery item. The mystery yeah. item. We don't know what it is. You take a tenner for it? We think the cables go with it, so we're just chucking the cables in. Yeah. We don't know what's with what and, and how. Okay. So yeah. Come out of the storage unit, and I thought, well, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> but we we'll give it a go. That's what I said. Someone yeah. will know what it is. We'll yeah. Go. Something video and audio, I assume it must be something to do with music. Yeah, I think, yeah, you just link up different things, play but speakers from. We didn't know what we thought, yeah. just bang it all in as one big cool. thing. Is Tanner alright then? Right. Yeah, cool. Thanks for that. I'll play about with it and stuff. <laughs> there you go. Lovely. Thank, Thank you. you Cheers. Cheers. How much on the hot plate? Hot plate, yeah. How much are you asking? Five pound. Five? For working order. Is that like the lead as well? That's the lead, yeah. Cool. Yes. Three pound? Four. Four, yep. Four. I'll take that, yep. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Should fit nicely. Yeah. There they go. Ooh. We got a pound change. I'll give you five. Oh, there you go. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. How much on the fryer? Okay. If I carry on like this, there's no room for the school run. Full boot at a car boot, that's what we like. How much on the radios? I've got 20 for each of them. Okay. How much on the shoes? Got a channel there, one's too blunt. Okay. Pretty good day off. Five of the boots. Yeah. Stretch S could be a fiver. Can they be a fiver? Nah. No. <laughs> no. Be eight for you, how's that? Yeah, eight yeah. pounds is good. Yeah. With that? I'll with that. Yep. Yeah. Thanks for that, okay. cheers. Come on, make me start. <laughs> yeah, I filled this twice already. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. 
Oh, it's on the videos. What are you offering? What am I offering? Oh, no. I've got another 10 in it, you wish. Okay. Yeah. Twenty four free. Twenty four free. <laughs> you can't buy. I had bad luck last week with VHSs. Huh? I had bad luck with VHSs, like not working. Uh, well, ten each then thirty. I do forty. Forty. If they don't work. You bring them back next week. I know they work. Test them before I put in the van. So. I did test them. Okay. Oh yeah. That's better than buying them blinds like I normally do. <laughs> yeah, because they had quite a few problems with them, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> No, they normally sit for like years and years and then they seize up and things but yeah, yeah like you I go. said if you get any problems bring them back next week yeah change the right ones all right then yeah appreciate yeah. that yeah thank you How much on the balls? Five weeks, I suppose. Five, cool. Oh, is that ranges? Eight for two? I can't, they're not mine, they're my little brothers. No? We've got them from a charity raffle, like a raffle, they're all yeah. 100 real. That's cool. No, get them, please. I'll get these two. How much on Mr. Blobby? Uh, Mr. Blobby? £2? £2? £2? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know who he was until my mum showed me a video of him. You never heard of Mr. Blobby? Oh no. Oh, I wasn't quite sure what I thought of it. He's <laughs> <laughs> oh, a bit freaky, yeah. How about that one as well? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> I'll take them, please. <laughs> oh, thank you. Cheers. George. I owe you one. <laughs> that radio was good. <laughs> yeah, that's Ten. Ten. Okay. Yeah, it's a nice, lovely little advertisement piece. That is, put your shoes yeah. in. It's I haven't great. seen anything like no, that before. I haven't. It would have been in like a 1930s sort of shoe shop, I would imagine. Yeah. I'll take that for ten as yeah. well. You know, I need to just go get a light. Yeah, there you go, Wow, I don't think that could have gone any better. But a bit of a problem, I've got to do the school run. I've overtaken some of the back seats, so they're gonna to have to squeeze in the girls. Probably one of the strongest boot sales I've ever done as a buyer, son again. Got loads of bargains, electricals, vintage, quirky, got absolutely everything. And the negotiations went very, very well. Tried to drop the question of, would you take this? Would you take that? It was just, say the price, don't look as keen, don't look as interested. So obviously, if I'm looking like I'm loving it, then obviously I'm gonna buy it. So yeah, try to play it down, name a price, so it's not just a question they can say no to and things like that. And yeah, definitely worked, definitely. Thanks everyone for the tips for Sunday's boot sale video. Definitely come in handy today. And now I've got another boot for, and extras. 
I also have to say again a massive thanks to Andrew. He was the one last week at last Wednesday's boot sale that pointed out the Roberts radio. Bumped into him again today and I think it was his wife he said or his partner hand knitted a blanket for our little one that's during July which is really really generous really touching. So yeah thanks again Andrew that is really sweet it definitely will get used really really appreciate that that is really kind of you. Once I get home I'll show Amy. I need to get back for the school run so I'll see you hopefully a bit later today in the unit if not tomorrow. Uh, show you what I did get, what I paid and then what I'm hoping to sell it for online. See you in a bit. Guess who that is? Oh. Mr. Bobby. <laughs> you are in the shot. I'm pretty sure my camera skills are not that bad. Right, so it's actually Friday now. I had to get on and finish this haul. Been so busy at home and things, it's been mental. Still been plugging away at the backlog. This stuff has been sitting since Wednesday. So let's flip around, show you what I did get, what I paid, what I'm hoping to list it for on eBay and Depop and Amazon and wherever else. We'll start with the stuff that's on top. Start with these footballs. These are really cool. You need to do a bit of research. But vintage Mitre Fulham FC football club ball. It seems to be signed. So obviously no documentation to go with this. It seems to be signed from the team. It's covered in signatures. This looks like mid to late 90s maybe. I have to do a bit of research on the actual ball. But see if I can find a bit more information. These are £5 each. We've got that like, vintage Nike as well. And this one is Rangers. I believe that's Rangers. Again. All different signatures and things. I have to try and work it out, see who's who. But again, no documentation. There you go, got another 10 player there. Anyone recognize these? Got LA, someone. Yeah, more research needed, but five pound each, that seems a steal. Even the balls on their own, they're popular, like vintage footballs. Really cool, five pound each. No idea what the resale value is. Maybe 35, 45, maybe a bit more, hopefully. Maybe a good thing to stick on as an auction. I don't really do auctions, but a decent thing to try out. So not sure, a bit of research needed, but still a steal at five pound each. See you later. Love my signs, love a bit of vintage signage. This is really cool. Nice 3D sort of resin plaster type um, material. My kitchen tools, obviously you can hang up like bits and bobs. Don't know if it holds your pans, but it'll hold utensils and things. Slight bit of wear and damage, that's why I was looking at it for a while. Um, but yeah, it looks so cool. Paid £8 it was. Uh, these, I've tried to find this exact one, but nothing has sold, nothing available. So yeah, no competition if someone did want this one specifically. So I can name my price. Conservatively, probably 50, 60, but I might aim higher. Um, it's quite a big thing as well, quite tall. Really cool looking. So I most probably will be trying more 80 to 100, but a price of 50 to 60 I'll be happy with, especially from £8. 
will be a bit of a pain to pack obviously it's fragile it will break um there is some cracking actually to the top of his hat so that's got to be aware of but luckily that's against the wall so that's not on show um yeah really nice pickup a couple of plush toys we'll do this one first this is Mog the Cat from Sainsbury's. Uh, this was probably about, what, three, four years ago now. Um, when the whole Christmas advert thing blew up, everyone was introducing their new characters and things. Uh, this is an easy 14 to 16 pound plus postage and nothing blow away. I just know they sell like really, really quick. So that's fine. This is really cool. <laughs> Mr. Blobby, again, two or three pounds from the same stall. I've never seen one this big before. This is probably, I'm guessing, 20 inches maybe tall, 18, 20 inches. I can't see a tag on it or maker's name, but I've never seen one that looks like this. I used to have nightmares about this guy when I was growing up. Scared the life out of me. Classic 90s TV show, uh, Noel's House Party, obviously Mr. Blobby. I always think his stuff should go for a bit more really, but it tends to get sort of lower than I think it should be worth. Um, but with this, I've never seen it. Couldn't find anything like this again like sold or available so the market's my own with this sort of toy if someone wants it 90s collectible it's only gonna ever gain more popularity so pay two or three pound and probably guessing again 35 40 um but see how it goes might aim a bit higher obviously aim higher to come down instead of starting low selling it miss out on a bit yeah see how he gets on board games this is when i use the technique of stacking up and then asking for a price and i think it's definitely worked here i grabbed the ones i knew about and there's a couple i guessed that one that didn't pay off and one that did pay off so the ones i did know totopoly cluedo monopoly and masterpiece these four and um, they go at amazon or they used to I don't know if they still do now in fact i bought this with this windbreaker i might as well do this one quickly but all this together was 25 pound Nice vintage fabric windbreaker, good for spring and summer at the beach or camping. People like the vintage stuff. This should be easy, 35 40 plus postage. So already money in the bag there. And these games then are just pure profit. Totopoly at Amazon, uh, 35 40 uh, Obviously got to make sure it's all there. Check all the pieces. Cluedo, 20 to 25 Monopoly, 20 25 Masterpiece is more 35 40 Again, depending on competition. So this is one to look out for. The Auction Game by Parker. I had a brand new and sealed one of these before from a tip shop local to me. And that got, I think it was £110. It was this exact version, still sealed in its cellophane. So that was really good. That cost me like a pound. Turned it into 110 or something at Amazon. But this one's used. And then this was a bit of a flop. Took a risk at this one. Mastermind 44. Never seen this version before. But I thought, might as well in my pile, give it a go. On eBay, it's only worth like 10, 12 pounds plus postage, but still pure profit, easy to send out. I'll see if it is at Amazon as well, but that was a really nice pickup. As soon as it was getting them out, I was grabbing them, putting them together, getting the price, adding this in as well. Perfect. Three VHS players from a viewer who was selling there. Paid up 40 pounds for these three, which is a bit more than I wanted to pay really, but um, he said he's got the remotes and also if they don't work, I can bring them back and swap them for another one. So I'll keep you to that if these don't work. But that's why I was happier to pay up £40 for the free. No Super VHSs this time, just standard VHSs, JVC, Sony and Panasonic. Really strong, reliable sales if they do work fully with their remotes, which is handy. Probably £40 each, I'm going to guess that. 35 40 plus postage, so 4 8 12 £40 into 120 if they're all working. With that guarantee of if one doesn't work, he said I can bring it back and swap it. I'm, um, yeah, happy to take the risk. This one, this was the best negotiation of the day. They were asking 20, got it for 10 pound, half price, which is awesome. They weren't too sure what it was. I tried to show not too much enthusiasm for it. That was another technique that show I'm too keen on it or so enthusiastic to have it. So obviously they're more likely to get a higher price. This is little techniques I was putting in, which seemed to work. Sony STR D515. It's like a video control center. It's got FM stereo and FM AM receiver, like radio. Really nice thing. Obviously got to make sure it's all tested and working. So all these different things to test out. But from 10, willing to take a risk again. It came with all these wires as well. They chucked in. So hopefully some of them are worth money on their own if I list them in individually. This unit, probably 40 to 50 plus postage. Really nice thing. Again, that name again, Sony always sells well. So yeah. Really happy with that pickup. CRT TV, standard stuff, Hitachi, it had the remote. Yeah, it's got the remote. 
Uh, standard 40 to 50 pound sale plus postage of 10 pounds. Nice big square box. Paid, what was it, seven or eight pounds for this one? Or was it five? Can't remember now. That's two days ago. Uh, so yeah, standard stuff again. It's got a DVD player. So bonus if it is working. If it's not working, a uh, bit of a pain. But uh, yeah, CRT TVs are for retro gamers. They just want like N64, PlayStation 2, SNES, all that stuff. They want it on this screen. Authentic retro look. That's why they're so popular. Another stop look. Not as good as my other one. This is like a older one. So I don't know if it's as highly rated, but still the same name, stop block. Four pound, uh, I'm guessing 2025 for this one. It's got obviously got a key. It's got two keys actually, which is handy. Should sell quick, should sell well on Facebook actually, Marketplace. Been doing really well on Facebook Marketplace. Just today I've sold two things on the same morning on Marketplace. So it's definitely growing. eBay, watch out. Speakers, speakers up to me eyeballs today. Uh, met a dealer that I've known for a few years now she goes to a few of the auctions I go to she goes to the same boots they are selling and things so she knows who I am she knows what I like we've got JVC SPE1 there a couple of speakers look really nice just got to test them out Wolfdale these are the best ones again black ash finish these should be hopefully 60 ish pounds 60 to 80 then she also chucked these in for a tenner got pioneer sort of surround sound speakers there's the main one there there's like the surround sounds here. Also Panasonic, um, what's this called, sub. £35 for these two pairs here. And then it was another tenner for everything else. So bargain prices, especially when this is 60 to 80-ish. 40, 50, and then the rest, I'm guessing 35 for these little ones. This sub, probably 25, 35, something like that. Another strong pickup. Got this Russell Hobbs hot plate here. Took a bit of a punt on this. They asked five, got it for four pounds. Went back and forth. Five, three, four. So save the pounds. Every little helps. Uh, these sort of things people tend to want pick up or collection only because obviously it's a bit of a pain. It tends to be slightly older people that sell them so they're not too clued up or don't want to risk like sending it out and things. So they go dirt cheap. But when you're willing to send stuff like this out in the post, then you can ask a premium. This four pound, I should hopefully be asking 45 50, I'm gonna say, plus postage. It's in its box, it's just thin, wrap it in cardboard, should get there no problem. Also keeps your plates warm, especially at Christmas. Um, if this does linger a while, it'll definitely go at Christmas. If we're all allowed together again this Christmas, families and things, nice pickup again. Last two pickups, this is my favorite, we'll come to that last, but showing off this pickup here. Pair of Timberland boat deck shoes again. Nice sort of green finish here, foresty green finish. I don't have their insoles, but I'll just put blank replacement ones in. Uh, give them a buff up, give them a polish. They'll look really nice in the photos. And what did I pay for these? I've completely forgot. <laughs> I think this was seven pounds, seven, eight pounds for a pair of Timberlands, really nice. Guarantee sale in the spring, summer. 40, 50 pounds, no problems. I've got this right at the end. I'm so, so shocked. This was still just sitting here. It just stood out to me as I walked past, caught my eye. Only 10 pound for this Colby shoe rack. Never seen anything like this before. Really, really cool. I've sold Colby uh, butler stands, valet stands. They go really well. Yeah, a shoe rack, never seen it before. And obviously, hold your shoes like this. I don't know if it was used in a shop or just used in a hallway. Like you come home, put your shoes up, it hooks on here, and then holds the shoes like that, which is really cool. Enough for six pairs of shoes. I think this was circa 1930s, 1940s, so a really good age to it as well. Paid 10, happy to pay 10. One on auction, went for something like 80 odd pounds as an auction as well. So I'm gonna name my price, hopefully there's no competition. I'm gonna go three figures on this. This is my favorite item. Never seen anything like it. It seems to be really rare, really cool and unique. Imagine that in a cool hallway, like vintage hallway. Hang your shoes up. GSP, Global Shipping Program, three figures. I'm gonna say 120, 150 maybe. But again, stay tuned to the channel. Make sure you subscribed, hit that bell so you know as soon as I do go live or upload new videos. I do sales videos as well. As you see all this stuff selling, that is the thing that I need to do. Buying's the easy thing. Got to sell this stuff. Got to get it there safely. Make sure the customers are happy. Get the money in. Repeat that cycle. Buy, sell, repeat. So like I was saying, I sold two things just this morning on Facebook. One was from my charity shop championship type challenge. 30 charity shops in one day. Canon, 3 dollars sold on Facebook Marketplace, £20 plus postage. 
I think it was up on eBay for about 30-ish. Um, I think I only had one view and things. Been listed for a couple of weeks now or a week or so. Um, yeah, someone offered me 20 straight to PayPal plus the postage. So happy that's gone. Not blow out the water, but still really good. Get that money in, start again with a 20 odd pound to buy some other stuff on the weekend. And then this one, this is a beauty. West German vintage vase. Bought this about four or so years ago when I first started full time doing this reselling. When it's basically pure vintage, pure retro. Really nice pattern, like green circles and squares with like a stone gray. And then on the bottom here, West Germany. And we've had this in our living room for the past four years. We've had like peacock feathers and things as um, sort of mid-century design type thing in our living room. But like I said, we're decorating a house uh, and this one has sadly moving on. We've got a few things, obviously with a little one, he might knock this over and things. So I'd rather get the money in, put it towards more decorating, <laughs> more paint and things. But um, listed on eBay for 50 plus postage, but it's sold on Facebook Marketplace for 40 plus eight pound postage. So 48 pound all in, straight to PayPal. So yeah, just this morning, Facebook has got me 60 pounds. So can't be complaining. I always want to spread my eggs in different baskets, not just rely heavily on eBay. Because um, obviously if that goes down and hopefully another platform can perform, balance out the balance sheet. And again, keep stuff selling, keep stuff rotating not going stagnant thanks so much for watching so it's a bit of a delay in releasing this video just been so busy decorating a house and that we're in our bedroom we've got rid of the furniture so we've got tons of boxes with all our clothes and all our knickknacks oh it's a nightmare just to paint a wall got to move all these boxes to one side yeah busy but um good to be busy better than a lockdown just stuck doing nothing so i can't complain i'll see you in the next video goodbye